thank you. Thank you very much. And thank, thank you. And thank you, Lori, for that very kind introduction. I tell you, it's just a real pleasure and honor uh, to be here with uh, all of you this afternoon. And as I was walking across the mall, I said to myself, boy, they really know how to pick a great day to have this. I think it's going to rain tomorrow, and I think we're going to be back out here. So um, you're a good choice, whoever made that decision. Again, I want you to know that um, it is great to be here amongst uh, what I consider uh, some very, very good friends in your association and to be with people who certainly uh, share a common vision uh, for the future of Arizona. Two days ago, on Statehood Day, I called a special session of the legislature to launch the Arizona Competitive Package. It's a comprehensive bill that uh, essentially marks uh, the rebirth of Arizona. Thanks to the hard work, dedication, and diligence of President Pierce and Speaker Adams, it's one of the most historic pieces of legislation to be considered by the Arizona House and the state in decades. It sets in place the first of my four cornerstones. The competitive package includes codification of the Arizona Commerce Authority as a highly focused, highly prioritized and highly privatized entity with a deal closing fund that our competitor states already have. It includes replacing our state enterprise zone laws with immediate tax incentives for quality job creations statewide. And it includes phased in tax reform starting in 2014 to address those areas where we are not competitive with other states. Our competitiveness package will make Arizona a magnet for business expansion, relocation, capital formation, and investment. Folk Thank you. Focused on both urban and rural job creation, our agenda is based on a belief in the awesome power of free enterprise private businesses finally freed to compete on the global stage. The results will be employment, personal income growth, and prosperity for businesses and our citizens. Arizona will stand in shining contrast to the other states as we limit the growth of the public sector and restrain the unnecessary regulation and stimulate the engine of free enterprise. My primary agenda for the next four years will be dedicated to this approach in building on the other three cornerstones of reform. Education reform, state government reform, specifically in state budgeting and operations, and a renewed federalism in our fight with Washington, D.C. Thank you. As I leave you today, I want you to know I'm committed to these issues and to their successes. And I look to each of you to help where there's consensus. And I look forward to working with AAED members. And because I appreciate the unified commitment we have, I've issued a proclamation today which says, in part, and let me read, whereas the Arizona Association for Economic Development recognizes that an economic development toolbox for Arizona must focus on enhancing competitiveness and creating quality jobs. Whereas, the recently formed Arizona Commerce Authority is the primary mechanism as a private-public partnership for the delivery of the tools needed for economic development in Arizona. Now, Therefore, I, Janice K. Brewer, Governor of the State of Arizona, do hereby proclaim February 16, 2001, as Economic Development Day. So with that, I just thank you all so very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. And may God bless you and keep you well. Thank you so very, very much.